they can't flag you if it's your own voice. Probably. Friends, welcome back to the Brave New Wear show. My name's Christian, and Eddie Salman's 2020 collection with Celine, the controversial yet celebrated designer, partnered with artist David Kramer for a collection featuring many of Kramer's designs and expressions. Most notably among them is the phrase, there's no irony here. It's fitting. Eddie Salman's collections are designed without irony. It's why people love him, and maybe it's why people get upset. Think of his work now at Celine. Many looks appear to be exactly like his work at Saint Laurent Paris, but he doesn't imbue them with any sense of a wink, a reference, a sly suggestion that, can you guys believe that I made a teddy jacket again? The man has only one look for Christ's sake! Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! To quickly establish where I stand in terms of Eddie Salman, some people watched my other video about Celine and thought that I lacked the trained eye of a connoisseur. Regardless, very hilarious comment. I'll say that pointing out Eddie's steadfastness isn't groundbreaking. And personally, I liked what he did at Saint Laurent Paris. I do like look, some of his looks from Celine, and I think Eddie will always be one of the most important designers of our time. But his methodology of sticking strictly within his aesthetic and making only slight, slight variations is bemusing. I'm amused and bemused. Because after all, Eddie, he doesn't seem to think that it's weird or peculiar to stay in his lane. He thinks he's designing very wearable clothing. And after all, his collections do very well financially. They are easy to wear. They are straight to the point. And that's why in so many ways, this collaboration with Kramer makes a lot of sense. But still, there feels like there's a juxtaposition, a disconnect, the un-irony of it all. It's baffling. So before we go any further, maybe we should ask this question. What is irony? Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, describes irony as such. It is, in its broadest sense, a rhetorical device, literary technique, or event in which what appears to happen on the surface is actually the opposite and differs radically from what is actually the case. So, irony being when one thing is expressed, but another thing is actually what's going on. And if you remember your AP Lit class, you'll know that irony comes in many forms. There's classical irony, like when you're Oedipus and you're told that the king will kill your dad and marry your mom. And in your efforts to try to stop that, you become that mother. Or like in situational irony, like basically every episode of Seinfeld. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I was at the pool! But what about fashion irony? The thing about irony, especially how we see it today, is it often bleeds into the postmodern sentimentality, but basically means an attitude or skepticism and rejection of grand narratives or ideologies that define modernists. Think like supporting the government or religion. These things, in so many ways, defined what modernists, especially in literature, were concerned about or thought about. There was still kind of like a structure of society that they clung to that postmodernism, in many ways, rejects. Who is the most ironic designer? Well, it's Demna, of course. That guy's a laugh riot. Look at his most recent collection for Balenciaga. We've got Tim and Eric looking models trancing around a million dollar garments in a flooded runway with an apocalypse happening in the background. With Balenciaga, you expect beauty and resoluteness from this historic couture house. Instead, you get this. And from platform Crocs to hot topic, expensive hoodies, Demna has doused irony into basically all of his work, forcing us to look into the mirror that is our shallow obsessiveness with designer clothing. But the thing is, postmodernism 
doesn't really have a cultural line. There's not an obvious next step, but perhaps it's something like a poet friend of mine once described as new sincerity. The Mons designs since Dior Ohm have been daftly straightforward. The man's daft. He wants to make rocker chic because he knows you want it. And he's not exactly joking about it. He's very direct and very serious. In an interview with the Business of Fashion, Eddie said regarding his work, respect is to preserve the integrity of everyone, to recognize that things belong to another person with honesty and discernment. You have to be yourself against all odds. But yeah, it makes sense. It's not about becoming somebody else. He doesn't express rocker chic as a parody, kind of like uh, an opposite would be Rick Owens, who expresses gothness with humor. He knows that his customers probably aren't all occultists, and he kind of includes that humor, that irony, in his designs and the whole ethos. Is there a danger in being so unironic in dress and design? Maybe there's not. Maybe you've got to own your own look. Be truthful about it. And it does seem like in this world right now, people do crave kind of a new sincerity. Personally, it's not usually my style. If I'm rocking a LSP kind of look, it's with the ethos that I'm dressing up, so to speak. I'm performing. The cigarette is just a prop, mom. But for Eddie, this iconography of rock and roll is a severe devotion. It's something real and foundational in his work. If we continue the modernist kind of metaphor, if he is a sincere modernist, rock and roll is his god. He's trying to demonstrate it and do it justice without irony. But to, you know, I give Eddie credit, but also I think that something that Sarah Moore uh, for Vogue noted in her review of his Spring Summer 20 collection, she kind of was critical of it and she said this near the end, but somehow the habitual narrowness of his focus missed the inclusive way that kids see the world today. Um, and she's referencing Eddie's steadfastness in making like 70s glam rock and his kind of seeming refusal to show different models other than like skinny white boys. Um, and I, I think that like Moer saying that kind of brings back to this point that this focus, this um, drive towards non-irony will sometimes be narrow and will be um, uninclusive in a way that isn't necessarily brilliant as an artist, but sometimes kind of not um, capable to see everything that made the 70s glam rock interesting. To try to wrap this video up uh, with a big bow and make it not so crazy and wild and as the meme goofiness of Demna's style kind of wanes right now, it feels like the seriousness of Eddie or of that of like hashtag menswear might rise again, especially, especially in the hard economic months to follow right now. Men and women will look for something solid and familiar. No more jokes, the world has been torn asunder. It's time to get serious and sincere because when the world seems unstable, as it did in 1918, often we try to revert back or try to cling on to something that is secure. So maybe this new sincerity, this lack of irony that Eddie is uh, pioneering or at least presenting to us right now is exactly what we need, or if nothing else, exactly what people will want to wear and be a part of. So, friends, if you took anything valuable from that video, please like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments because I always love to hear from you. And if you aren't subscribed yet, you should be because I post every Wednesday and Sunday. And who knows what other cool stuff is gonna go on this wall in the following days. I'll catch you guys later. What did they say? Was afraid to fly. He packed a suitcase and kissed his kids goodbye. He waited his whole damn life to take that flight. And his plane crashed down. Well, he thought, 
Well, isn't this nice? And isn't it ironic 